This project aims at facilitating the court's efforts to respond to the information demands of the community affected by the local conflict in northern Uganda. The 210,000 euro access to justice project will run for a year. 23 permanent viewing sites will be set up in northern Uganda, where victims and affected communities will now have full access to the trial of Dominic Ongwen. Fundamental idea of this uh, project is to enhance outreach of the ICC. What does it mean? It does mean that the, the truth is coming forward, that reconciliation has a, a very important place for, for the people in northern Uganda. That is what we're doing. We're bringing it closer to the trial in, in The Hague. Because of course the proceedings are in The Hague, it's far away, but through all those activities that we can do here, in particular in Gulu and, and surroundings, we bring justice as close as possible to the victims. That is the crucial uh, activity that we're going to undertake. The Justice Project will include community video screening of the trial, visits to The Hague by journalists who attend the trial, and radio programs, among others. The local leaders have welcomed the initiative. When I look back at the screen of screening the, uh, the court in, in, in the community, people were satisfied and they were happy. And that's key in any given process. Dominic Nguyen, an alleged brigade commander within the Lord's Resistance Army, faces trial for 70 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity. Since the beginning of proceedings against Nguyen, over 180 such video screening related activities have been conducted and the local community is following it closely. Every time the screening process is done, somebody leaves his garden, somebody leaves his, closes his shop, somebody leaves his livelihood, somebody leaves all the activities and come and sit for 8 to 10 hours on the screen, meaning they have accepted, they are believing in it and they have been participating by asking so many questions. However, despite the overwhelming interest to follow the proceedings, there has been a limited capacity to sustain this initiative over the span of the trial. But now, with this new project, the court will be able to conduct more regular screenings that will provide full access to whom it matters the most, the affected community.